Hey, the average Joe here. So I created a video here just recently, and uh, in it I said, hey, what used to take me uh, weeks and days now takes me, uh, you know, minutes and hours with the software HVAC solution. So I was kind of challenged on that uh, by users saying, hey, I want to just see, you know, what kind of uh, projects you do and, and how fast you can do them. So typically, uh, over the course of my design uh, days, I've worked with architects. The, those were the main clients, right? Design, uh, and then bid, and then build. Uh, occasionally, I was able to work with uh, design-build contractors. So this particular project was a hospital, and uh, it's in Utah, small rural hospital, and it had two existing boilers. This whole project is on six eight and a half by 11 pages. That's how I turned it into this owner, if you can believe it. These eight and a half by 11 diagrams along with the schedules. So let's just zoom in here on the first eight and a half by 11 diagram and look at the project. So I took my laptop here and I uh, went to the project down the mechanical room basement. They had two existing boilers, some heat exchangers. Uh, you see that some of the loads were serving some air handlers uh and a and pose load over here and some heat exchangers they wanted to remove all the boilers the two boilers and the related uh, steam equipment and piping and then install three new boilers so i sat down in i what took the most time on this project was just to to put the equipment down uh drag and drop it hook up the pipes kind of look at look how they were sitting in the mechanical room this is just how they were in the mechanical room and then put some general notes over here, demolition, about removing the boilers, the stacks, the piping, sums and whatnot, demolishing those things. Uh, so the contractor knew what to do. So the, the owner of the hospital had hired a contractor to do the work. They wanted to know, have a design, and then they wanted to have the capacities of what needed to, the equipment that needed to be replaced. So this was my existing demolition steam schematic. My new system was right here. You see a top view uh, of the three new boilers. There were three new Cleaver Brooks uh, boilers uh, they wanted to purchase. Uh, the heat exchangers here, and you'll see it. You go on the heat exchanger, I typed in the load that they were serving. That was for heating. Here was for a domestic uh, load heat exchanger. And then there was another one. You remember those air handlers? Uh, they were serving. Uh, so those were the loads that I then piped up to my three boilers there. Now you see there's not a lot of detail on this. There's are some APT traps, there's some steam separators, looks like there's some PRVs, but it's just real general, right? Well then in the software we have the ability, we have a lot of details that are pre pre-made, but here's my heat exchanger, okay? Receiver tanks, now I've got it all detailed out here in more detail, uh, the traps, sensors and, and have APTs, everything that I want in there. So now this is all detailed out. Steam to hot water heat exchanger. Okay. Then there's my, my parallel. I had parallel. I put two new parallel PRVs in there. The related uh, accessories. The boiler feed system. Okay. And then steam separator, steam traps. Just simple little uh, details of that. And then last of all was the, the boiler uh, detail that they could look at those three boilers and come to here and say, okay, we need to run vents. And we need to connect to the top. We need to come from the PRV. Uh, anyway, and then a legend down below was just the last sheet. That's if they didn't know kind of what each thing was. So this project, I, I was out there early in the morning on a Monday and uh, late afternoon, this project was done. Uh, one day, less than a day, less than eight hours to basically demo three boilers and all the system off the hospital, uh, provide the capacities and all the schedules for the new equipment that was going to go in, uh, turn this in to the, the owner, I gave it to the contractor, the contractor uh, knew what to do, and the owner actually ordered uh, the equipment. So let's just go in. When we're done with the design, let's just go file coordination file options. So bill materials, control schedules, electrical schedule, equipment schedule, those are the, or the per pertinent schedules on this project. Uh, so just save those. 
uh, here. Shouldn't take that long. Come on. And uh, file open. Yeah, I didn't save them like I said I was. Save there. And then we'll open each one of those. File open. And uh, here's my equipment schedules. So this would have the capacities. That was the hospital out there in rural Utah. The pump traps, capacities, what they were. The owner knew what to get. The uh, blowdown separator, steam capacity, boiler feed, uh, capacities, voltage, the steam boilers. You see, they were just over, uh, just over, uh, what is it, almost four million BTUs there each one. Uh, receiver, heat exchangers, uh, steam separator, steam traps, uh, the c control valves, PRVs, all the equipment, uh, major equipment right there. Uh, then the other thing just had quick access to after creating this project would have been uh, the bill materials. So just quantities of everything. Okay, the pipelines, uh, you know, as I put those in uh, project, uh, every component, we'll just click on the boiler and look at it, has a control tab, integral and external. So you can click on, check on or off what you want uh, control points to be of that particular device. So that would be the boiler. Let's go do something simple like a trap. Probably just going to have a status, right? Uh, heat exchanger is going to have a little bit more on there. Controls, integral, uh, external, uh, the different things that would be fluid sensors. And so by just going in there and, and it's me checking what I wanted, then I automatically had created for me a point schedule that they would be able to have the contractor as well. Uh, open there, right there, the control schedule. So this would be every point that's uh, needed for the pumps. See mostly sensors on that, boilers, alarms, uh, and then if you want to sort it by type, there's all the differential pressure sensors for the heat exchangers, temperature sensors for heat exchangers, just down the list. Uh, created very easily by just checking the boxes on and off on what I wanted. And then the last schedule in there was electrical, anything that needed power. Uh, we created an electrical schedule so I can get that to the contractor so they know what kind of uh, power is needed on the project. So uh, less than a day, uh, this project uh, was used without obviously Revit or AutoCAD because I, I worked with a design build contractor, the contractor and I did the design, he did the build, he was on the project, he'd go in, demo the lines, put the new lines in uh, and, and kind of run them, coordinate with the structure, right? We didn't have to do all that. So great uh, project for design build. Uh, and if this would have been a, a design uh, bid built, then I would have just sat down uh, with uh, my Revit operator, put these things in Revit and showed some elevations and how they all tie together, then use my schedules as well as the schematics here uh, to go on the drawing package so they, they see how it all uh, connects together. Uh, Revit's, you know, shows how to make sure things fit in spaces, right? If you have a contractor do that for you, that's great. Uh, HVAC Solutions great at doing all the uh, importing loads, doing all the calculations, selecting equipment, scheduling it, uh, and then organizing uh, all the different documentations you need, schedules, uh, bill materials, controls, points, whatever. Anyway, I hope this has helped you to see uh, the great, uh, tremendous uh, time savings that can be utilized uh, using the software. Hey, thanks for watching.